When home learning kicked off for most of the world in March, a lot of teachers decided they wanted to put uh, agendas at the top of their courses. So one way to do this is to create a page. So if I click on Add Materials and Add Page, I can add a table. So I'm going to make it a 5 by 2 so that I have one for every day of the week. I had a teacher ask how she could keep all the cells in the table the same size because of the text that was in them. Um, they were all different sizes. And the best scenario that we came up with was to insert images. In this top row, I'm going to add an image for each day of the week. To do that, I'm going to click on Insert Content, Image, Media, and these are on my laptop, so I'm going to choose Attach File, but I could pull it from the web too. And then I'm going to grab the Monday. Once I have all of my images in there, I'm going to add my text. When I'm done adding all of my text, I'm going to go to a new tab that I've opened and I'm going to get a, the links for all those assignments. So I'm going to click on the Ancient Greece and just copy the link here. And I'm going to do that for each of those assignments. Once I have the chart looking the way that I want it to, I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to click on this button. Make sure that it's in color so that it displays in line and click Save Changes. Now I can just see it displayed right there on the page and my students don't have to click anywhere. They can just click on assignment and it will take them to that assignment. They can click on the Tarsia puzzle. Now if I want to take this and display it as an update and also as an announcement, I can just go in and copy it and then go up to updates and paste it in and then this little button here I check mark where the bell is and then that makes it an announcement so it's at the top of the page for the on the update page but also on the material page so when they land they know everything that they've got to do for that